how to use on the trading platform hello and welcome to our channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can use on the trading platform so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on Oanda, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Oanda, it is a global company that offers a range of financial products and services including CFDs, Forex stocks, ETFs, and indices. And the company has expanded significantly over the years entering the new markets and introducing innovative products and platforms. And Oanda operates through various entities, each regulated by its respective financial authority, ensuring compliance with local regulations and providing varying levels of protection for customer funds. And also, Oanda is known for its low cost brokerage services and provides market analysis and commentary through its news section and market polls multimedia site. And now, to start using this platform, you could also click below here this create account button or demo account. But at this point, I'm going to choose to create a demo account in which upon clicking on it, we'll be able to be directed on this page in which all we need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information, starting by selecting your country or region in here. Then there your email address to create your own password, your personal details to enter such as your first name, last name, and also your mobile phone number. And after signing in, you'll be directed in here in which it will show you how you can set up your demo application. From here, you can download a mobile app or open a Wanda web platform. And in those options, I'm going to choose to open Oanda web platform. And by simply clicking on it, we'll be able to be directed on this page right here. So this is basically what the Oanda dashboard looks like. On the left side panel, it will show us a variety of options that we can navigate. We have here technical analysis, news, market polls, API preferences, meta trader, reset layout, and many more. And also on the top panel, we could also navigate this manage fonts, my account, transaction history, and many more. And now to start using Uwanda for trading on the left side panel from here. Under instruments, it will show you a variety of instruments including forex, indices, commodities, bonds, and cryptos. In which all of those are kind of asset that you could also trade on this Uwanda platform. So for instance, as you can see, we're choosing a Bitcoin to sell or buy. And on this pop-up window, I'm going to select buy and below here under market. From here, you can simply enter the amount of units you want to buy of Bitcoin. But before we buy a specific kind of asset, we could also go back in here and observe the charting for the past years, months, days, and even weeks. From here, it will show us the amount of prices of Bitcoin has been changed, or if the price of Bitcoin increased or decreased. Now going back in here, under market, if we're going to buy a specific Bitcoin, under units available, just enter the amount of units you want to buy of Bitcoin. And below here, as you can see, we have here a margin available of 100,000 Singaporean dollar. And for that, let's say I'm going to enter the amount or available unit that I'm going to buy a Bitcoin, which is one Bitcoin. And below here, it will show you the corresponding market price, the amount of margin use, market depth in here, including the units and buy price in here. So this is basically the amount that we need to pay in order to buy one Bitcoin. And below here, if you want to also determine our possible profit, we can simply enter here the amount of price for the future if we try to trade right now. So basically, we're just going to guess or determine a specific kind of price that could be possibly become in the future. And as you can see, the current price of a Bitcoin amounting to 64.8. But if the price go up to 93.570, you'll be able to get the profit of 29,997 pips. But you could also start customizing this if you want to, depending on your preference or expected prices of this Bitcoin. And aside from that, or take profit, you could also navigate the stop loss in order to determine the amount of loss that you could get if you tried to trade right now. So make sure from here that the amount of price that you will enter is less than the amount of price currently right now. So as you can see, if the price goes down into 60,000 from here, we'll be able to have a loss of 3,570 plus. And aside from that, below here, you can also navigate this trailing stop in which this order allows you to stay in a profitable trade as long as the price is moving in your paper. So from here, in determining the trailing stop, all you need to do is simply enter the amount of the price below the current price right now. Aside from that, below here, you could also navigate this upper bound, in which you can determine it by simply entering here the amount of price above the current amount of price in here, in which the upper bound sets maximum price level at which the trade will be automatically closed, even if the market continues moves against the trader's position. 
Now moving on aside from market section right here, you could also navigate here this limit section by clicking on it. From here we can simply buy a 1 Bitcoin if you want to by simply setting up here the prices that we prefer. In which if those prices has been reached, your limit order will be automatically buy depending on the price that you set. And from here you could also navigate or set up the expiry date. If the prices has still not been reached, it will automatically be expired or the limit order will now be expired after one week, one day, one month depending on your preferences. And aside from that, below here you could also navigate to choose to take profit upon trading this Bitcoin. And below here you could also navigate this margin news. But make sure that you also enter a valid price before clicking the submit button below. And aside from that, as you can see, we could also navigate here the stop section in which we can stop our specific asset to trade when a specific price has been reached. And now let's say we're going to click the submit button under market in order to start trading. By clicking on it, you'll be able to see your under trades to have now successfully purchased this one Bitcoin. And below here, you can simply track whether your Bitcoin or your trading asset has been earned or has a profit or loss. And aside from that, let's say we're going to choose on the left side panel the Forex exchange aside from cryptocurrency that we did earlier. And let's say right now I'm going to choose Euro and Canadian Dollar. By clicking buy, it will show you in this pop-up window that we can simply enter the amount of units that we can buy and below it will show us the margin use, the market depth and margin available in here. And after entering here the amount of units that we want to purchase or buy, we can also navigate here below to take profit or navigate to determine the amount of profit that we will get upon trading this asset at the moment. But also you can navigate here below this market depth in order to see the buy price that we need to buy this specific kind of units in euro or Canadian dollar. Now moving on under this take profit, we could simply determine by simply entering here the amount of price. For instance, as you can see I just enter 1.9 price, in which if it reach 1.9 we will earn 4348.4 pips in here. And also below we could determine the amount of loss that you can get under stop loss. By entering here the possible amount or prices, we will be able to see here the amount of loss that you can possibly get. And you could also navigate here the trailing stop and also the upper bound right here. However, at this point, we're going to choose this limit section. And from here, all we need to do is simply enter or set the prices that we prefer in which if that prices has been reached, let's say for a couple of weeks or for one week, our limit order will be automatically been placed or will automatically buy this kind of asset in here. Unlike the market section, if we click submit button right here, our asset will be automatically been trade. But under limit from here, we can set up or set the specific kind of prices that we prefer. And if this prices has been reached, we'll automatically purchase or buy this kind of instruments in here. So for instance, I'm going to enter here the prices which is 1.40 with expiration date of one week and by clicking the submit button, we'll be able to see here under orders and on the top panel from here, it will show you the limit order has been created successfully. So if you click this order section right here, it will show you your limit order with its corresponding setup price that we just input earlier and also the expiration date in here. Now moving on on the top panel under charting, you could also use other elements that could possibly help you in determining whether to buy or sell a specific kind of asset in here. From here you can navigate this cross dot arrow eraser and also this pattern or line in here that you can input directly to this charting. We have here trend line, info line, trend angle and many more. But overall, that is just basically how you can use a one trading platform. Thank you.